If you are thinking only professional fighters are real fighters and everyone else is fake, then you have to admit that all the combat soldiers of your country are fake fighters. Whenever there is a discussion, particularly on social media, in martial art groups, and someone is mentioning about some very respected martial art teacher, some people will always ignorantly ask how many professional matches did this person win? If he is so good, why didn't he join MMA? So uh, before we talk about that, we need to understand the difference in culture, the difference in tradition in the martial art world. Because of globalization, today we can see MMA leagues in China, professional boxing in almost every Asian countries, and also Ushu competitions in Europe or karate competitions in North America. But if we look at the ancient history of combat sport, we'll find a huge cultural difference between Asian and European martial art games. Probably the oldest hand-to-hand -hand fighting system of Europe we can find in Greece, Pancration, and ancient Greek boxing. We can find both in the ancient Olympic Games. Olympic was the first officially organized sports event. Now let's see what was the purpose of ancient Olympics. To honor the god of Mount Olympus. It was a religious celebration to entertain the mob. And the same thing we can see once again in Roman Pugilitus, ancient Roman boxing, practiced by the gladiators. Again, we can see it in gladiatorial games for mass entertainment. But later matches of ancient China were not organized for mass entertainment, but to rank soldiers to choose the best military officials. Same we can see in Japanese sumo wrestling. Sumo tories used to be royal bodyguards and the matches were official tests. Miyamoto Musashi in Japan won 61 duels in his life. People like Hua Yunjia in China or Motobuchoki in Okinawa fought countless challenge fights to test their skills, but there was no concept of pro fighting. Many people believe that professional fighting is the ultimate way to test your own skills. It could be boxing, kickboxing or MMA. But the truth is, if you remove the audience out of it, if you remove the prize money out of it, nobody will fight there to test their skills. Ultimately, it's for earning money by entertaining an audience. Traditional Asian martial arts schools also fight against different styles to test their skills. But there is no money involved. There is no ticket to sell. These fights will happen even if there is no audience. In Japan, it is called Dojo Yabudi, visiting a rival dojo. Or in China, Guanman Dajia, close to matches. These matches need to be secretive closed door because no government will allow matches like this in public tournament. There is no protective gears, no soft mattresses, sometimes no rules. I am not judging a person on moral scales if he chooses to fight professionally to earn an honest living. All I am trying to point out that there is a cultural difference. Many old school martial artists still do not support the idea that two people will try their very best to harm each other physically to earn money by entertaining an audience. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and if you want to be a real professional fighter, be a combat soldier.